everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to day 377 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today I'm going to be trying out the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder that I have a sample of here. I have it in the shade Translucent Light, but this also comes in a Translucent Deep shade, which I appreciate that the Cover FX brand did that. And so this is a sample that I got from Sephora recently, but the full size version cost $35 and it's paraben free, it's vegan. I've heard great things about this powder, so I'm interested to see if I'm gonna like it. I've tried out a lot of setting powders and so I've gotten kind of picky, but I love setting powders for some reason. I love trying out new ones and it's a product that I really cannot leave the house without, especially because I just, crease a lot with my makeup. I have lines under my eyes, so I really need to make sure that I set my makeup if it's going to stay in place and not crease. So first, I wanna start out by using it to cut my bronzer and my contour on my cheeks, and then I'm gonna apply some concealer and then bake with this, and we'll do a flashback test as well. So such a cute little sample. Let's see, does the entire Yes, so it does have a filter and the filter comes out. I really like when the filters actually come out. And the translucent light shade, as you can see, definitely has color to it. It's a very beige shade. It's not pure white at all, which is fine. But so I'm going in with my Dampen. This is um, the AOA Studio makeup sponge that I really like. And then I'm just gonna go in and cut the bronzer let's go in with a bit more and if you want to see my review on this sponge I will link that video down below a little tip that I found helps me when I'm doing this cut the contour type of technique is that I need to hold my mirror and then turn my face in a way where I can see my cheekbones and where there's that indentation and then I follow the natural indentation to my face and that does help me decide where to place the powder and at what angle. All right, and so I'll let that sit there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my concealer. I wanted to apply it fresh before applying the powder. And for my concealer today, I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape, and I use the shade Fair Neutral. And I have been using this concealer for so long now. My review on this is from one of my very first YouTube videos. But I will still link it down below if you wanna see it. It's Probably not the best video, but oh well. You have to start somewhere. <laughs> it is amazing that now I am surpassed one year of doing a new makeup video every day and still going, but to think where I was like a year ago, just starting out on YouTube, just starting out my new makeup product everyday series. I didn't have this camera, I didn't have these lights, I didn't have these makeup skills really. Come a long way. But I still have a long way to go if I'm going to reach my YouTube goals. Not if, when. Gosh, I love this concealer. Such full coverage, so brightening to my under eye circles. My dark under eye circles my entire life was something that I really, well, I'm gonna apply the powder while I say this, but so my under eye circles were something that I was always so self-conscious of growing up, my whole life really. And the fact that now with my makeup skills and the products that I've discovered, I'm able to completely hide my under eye circles and not have to worry about them, not feel self-conscious anymore. It's just really nice. 
and I wish I could have done this back when I was in like high school and middle school and so self-conscious of my under eye circles. I wish I knew then what I know now, but at least now I have those capabilities to give myself the look that I want. But so yes, I'm just applying a lot of powder because I'm going to bake with this. So I'm doing a thick layer and this is a very finely milled powder, but I like that it's not dusty and like puffing up everywhere as I'm applying a lot to my face because some powders are just so dusty and in the air that it's like hard to breathe when I apply it, but this is not like that at all. And then I'm not going to bake with it, but I'm just going to set the other parts of my face and especially my nose. I have large pores on my nose and foundation definitely tends to wear away very quickly on my nose. So let's see if this powder can keep the foundation on my nose, but also how it does with blurring out my large pores. I wouldn't say it completely blurred out my pores, but it did a little bit. It's not as airbrushed an effect as I was hoping for, but it did slightly help to minimize the look of my pores. Okay, and now taking a large fluffy brush, I'm just gonna brush away the contour. That looks nice. I feel like this shade, this translucent shade is great for cutting the contour because you don't have to worry about having like a white cast because of that tint of kind of beige to it. Therefore, it doesn't leave any color behind. And so now that I've let my under eyes bake for a few minutes, I'm gonna brush that powder away with my large fluffy brush. Wow, I love that my under eyes, there's no creasing to the concealer anymore. Like that is so kind of amazing to me when I bake and I brush it away and I don't have to worry about creasing whatsoever. It's such a cool technique. But so my under eyes still look very brightened. I don't have any under eye circles like I was talking about earlier that make me self-conscious. So feeling very happy with the results of my under eye makeup right now. And it looks so smooth on my skin. It doesn't look cakey or textured. It looks so natural. And now time for the real test. I'm gonna take a flash photo and we'll see if there's any flashback. So okay, so I'll insert my very unflattering photo, but... <laughs> You can see there's no flashback. So this passes the flashback test. Thank goodness I've had some very embarrassing situations where I used a beautiful setting powder, but then in all the pictures, I had this huge white flashback basically. And it was so weird, really ruined the picture. So now I'm so careful to test every setting powder with flashback photos because I don't want that happening again but luckily this one is fine. I can use it without any issue. So all in all, so happy with this setting powder. It works beautiful for baking, no flashback, looks so nice on the skin. It's not drying to my under eyes and I definitely have dry under eyes. So it's important to me that the powder doesn't dry my under eyes out. But for my high standards of setting powders, this definitely passes. I'm very excited to continue using it. If you've tried this, let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on it. I'd also like to know what Cover FX products you love. I've been trying a lot of Cover FX products lately and been so impressed by them. So I just wanna try out more and more so definitely let me know your favorites. And thank you so much for watching my video today. 
be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.